I'm Katie Clancy, Chief House Soccer for the Cape House at William Ravis. And I'm Sarah Lapsley Martin of T. Martin Lapsley at Kinlan Grover Real Estate. And this is What's Good Cape Cod, where we show you the Cape through the eyes of a couple of locals. Every episode, we tell you about a person, a place, and a thing we think you should know about. So this episode, our first time on location, and we're here at the beautiful Pheasant in East Dennis. It's going to be awesome! So excited! Okay. It's a little windy. Okay, all right. So we were at the pheasant. Very excited to be here. So the pheasant just kept like crossing our paths. It did. Like in a million ways. Yes. Like, So I know Erica, well, obviously from the pheasant, but also she has another business, Little Necks in yep. Dennis. So um, it is amazing. It's a consignment shop for kids. Yeah. And I'm sure we'll talk about that in another We will. Episode. They'll definitely yes. make an episode because <laughs> she's got a little one and you've got a little yes. one. So you've got a minor kind of big and it's a great. It's a great new business. In, in yes. And Erica uh, goes to the gym that I go to, CrossFit Hyannis. And they we keep, they're, they're in the magazine. We have a yes. copy of the magazine. They're in this magazine, which we love. Most we featured. Yep. Woo! And this is, these are the guys that do our editing for our, um, for the, for this whole show which yes, is we're awesome so grateful. yeah yeah so we were like we just have to come here and do this and talk about them because we're really excited about what they do how they do it why they do it and we just wanted to share their story agree right should we start yeah. off with a glass of wine i think we should start with some wine sarah go, Katie. <laughs> yes go. thank you very much so we're still on you know pandemic you know protocols just fine, but still wine. Cheers. Cheers. So our person this week is actually a couple. It's Erica and Adam Dunn that own the pheasant. And so we got a chance. We actually were able to pull <laughs> Erica out and get her to sit down yeah. and talk to us, which was awesome. We, we couldn't get Adam. He Someone has to run the show. Someone right? has to yeah. be inside. Anyway, enjoy. Cheers. Cheers. So part of the reason why we chose the Cape um, is the amount of local seafood available to us. We're so fortunate to live here and we get to work very closely with local farmers and fishermen. We incorporate as many as we possibly can into our menu each season. You know, we're located at a 250 year old farmhouse. Um, it was an old ship chandlery that belonged to Captain Howe's. So there's a lot of history here and um, there's a real soul and feel to our building, our restaurant, our menu, and um, it, it's just what we love to do. So during our days off, or um, we're open only for dinner, so we often have mornings and lunches free. We often take the drive up to um, Sunbird with our son. We'll pick up breakfast, maybe sit in um, at Rock Harbor, or you know grab a coffee at Snowy Owl. Um, we love you know other restaurants that are using locally sourced ingredients and just great friends, supporters. Um, I think we probably order from Sunbird a few times a week. <laughs> um, we just love them over there. Uh, Kendra and Sisters in town, just fantastic for coffee and it's great to have a coffee shop to walk to. Um, and the Mercantile, just Dennis Village has a really special community and to be able to walk to all these places is huge for us. You know, in the mornings we're at um, in the mornings we're at the Mercantile getting muffins and then taking trips to the playground or to the beach. So those are our regular haunts. So the place is obviously the pheasant. The pheasant. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Cheers. <laughs> So this season we are doing outdoor dining only with an abundance of caution. Um, we have 92 seats, we have beautiful picnic tables, um, we're open Wednesday through Sunday from 5 to 9 o'clock. We launched our new fall menu last week so we're really excited about that. Um, bring a blanket, bring your jacket, we have tables right by the fireplace some warm cocktails. We also continue to offer takeout and plan to do a big takeout Thanksgiving week. So those are nice dinners that you could bring home with you and you know, sit at home and eat with your family and have a nice holiday season. So the thing this week is obviously the food at the pheasant. The food, right? It's all locally sourced, it's beautiful, and it's delicious. Cheers! Cheers. All right, so first we are having well, we've had the we've had the oysters, which yes. were amazing, delicious, and now we're going so the the corn and corn bacon. and bacon with a lemon miso the fritters, yes. yes, so pretty.
pretty excited, so let's Yay. dig in. Oh, look at that. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Where's the bacon? I know, right? Bye, Ellen. Bye, Katie. There's mm -hmm. the bacon. Mm-hmm. Highly recommend. These are oh, amazing. Well, it doesn't hurt that they're fried. Agree. Agree. Mmm. Oh my god, that's so good. Amazing. So what's next is the fall salad. Beautiful. Look yes. at this. Um, I see some golden beets. I see some squash. squash. And apples, but they're pickled, right? Pickled. I'm very excited. And a I whipped feta? Whipped feta. Whipped any cheese. I'm into Agreed. it. Agreed. Very so, excited right. to try this. Let's get into it. All right. So I'm going to take this. Oh, wait. I need my dressing. Go ahead. Take a bite. Okay. Let me try it. What's the word? Delicious. I mean, the epitome of fall with the beets and the squash. Amazing. I got to find out what these pickled apples are all about. Oh, my God. Pickled apple. I've never had a pickled apple, actually. You get the sweet, you get the salty, and the tart. And with the whipped feta, it just, it, oh it runs so well. There's some sort of cinnamon situation happening here. Maybe on the cheese? On the pepitas. Mm. On the pepitas. Yes. Otherwise known as pumpkin seeds. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious, guys. You really got to get down here and try this. Mm, 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 mm. So, Our now next course. we have the chicken noodle bowl. That's an egg. That's the chicken. Amazing. <laughs> Yakitori chicken. Yakitori chicken. And these are the noodles. They actually look, I was like, those are so big, they look like yeah. onions. I am so excited to try them. Do you want to pour? Oh yes, so we got to pour the miso over this, over the um, bowl and the noodles and whatnot. That smells good. Look at this. Let's do this. All right, so we're going to get it all over everything. This. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yummy. Can't wait. All right, we're digging in to the bowl, to the noodle bowl. We split the noodle we bowl up. We split it. <laughs> COVID style. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's not graceful, but it tastes real no. good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's get mm. some of this yakitori chicken. The yakitori chicken is amazing. So moist and tender. Oh my God. Mmm, that had to be cooked over the fire. Agreed, agreed. Mmm. And then, like, you get the greens all down in the broth. And the broth, like, changes. I know. It's, and then the, it soaks it up. the egg is, like, soft-boiled? Yeah, soft-boiled. So it's, like, nummy, nummy. I'm going to have a bite of that right now, if I can. A perfect addition to the fall menu. I mm -hmm. mean, this is delicious. Oh, my God. Okay, it's dessert time. On to dessert. This is the cinnamon apple tart, yes. right? With the, um, what's the whipped cream situation? We a a house-made vanilla whipped cream. We'll give you How bad can up. that be? This is gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. <laughs> did you get some crust, Sarah? Mm, I have one for the filling. You did? All right, so I'm, all a, I'm a crust girl. I'm a filling so girl. sort of how I roll. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my. That's really good. Perfect way. I'm actually to... a whipped cream girl, it <laughs> <Yeah>. turns out. <laughs> this whipped cream is actually amazing. Mm. I think I need another bite. Yep. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Except I don't want it on camera, so. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for our first on location episode of What's Good Cape Cod. Yes, we hope you enjoyed your visit to the pheasant as much as we did. Tune in to our next episode, which is all about puppies, pumpkins, and pretty things to wear. And keep watching, and before long, you'll know Cape Cod like we know Cape Cod. Erica and Adam. <laughs> Erica and Adam. And then we have to cheers. Done. Erica and Adam done. And then you say your part, and then we'll cheers. Okay. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> um.